Welcome back to another vlog in Northwest Ontario. Today, we're back on the kayak. My new boat has not arrived yet. It should be coming any day. But today's an exciting vlog. If you guys remember, uh, a couple months ago, I did a call out for an intern. And an intern has been chosen. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Zachary Saladino. How's You're it going? You're supposed to speak French. That was our whole Bonjour bit. Monde. Zachary is from the Montreal area. And uh, he's spending the summer with me, with Tri Visuals. He's shore fishing today. I'm kayak fishing today. He wanted to make it a challenge. I said, sure, you're gonna be a little bit disadvantaged. The lake we're fishing has some largies, has some smallies. We're gonna do a challenge for a five biggest bass, typical tournament style, but we're giving him an advantage. How much of an advantage? How many pounds? 10, is that what you said? Do you said? want a 10 pound advantage? I'll give you a five pound advantage. Five pounds. I'm giving him a five pound start. So whatever his five biggest bass are at the end, he's gonna have five pounds added on to that. And um, I'm on the kayak, he's stuck on shore. Unfortunately, we don't have a second kayak. So anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go. I have a paddle tail, I have a big jerk bait, and I have a hair jig. Those are my three baits to crush Zach, the internals he was Zach's got rigged up. He is a gear junkie. Secret, I got the Senko here. So far I got a chatter bait tied on. I'm gonna be putting on a jig, not this one. And uh, on this rod, I'm still undecided. Not sure yet. See what I got. Zach's gonna box. be switching lures the entire time. Zach works at a fishing store back in Montreal. So he's one of those guys that loves, loves, loves gear. And I think I'll use that to my advantage because I'll probably throw one or two baits and catch him while he's tying knots. But we're gonna get going. Like I said, five biggest bass. I got a scale, Zach's got a scale. And Zach's gonna get a five pound lead. Did we say five? Five. Five pound lead for Zach. Here we go. Time for bassing. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, that's pretty big. Wow, that was very strange. That's a big bass. <laughs> he almost jumped in the kayak. Nice. There we go. First smallie of the derby. I don't know what Zach's doing, but that's a good start on the black hair jig. Classic staple. 2.97. Awesome. Guys, 2.97, uh, 30 seconds in. Zach, I hope you're doing good. So for this section, I'm gonna start off with the chatterbait. The beauty about this reel is you can cast super far with it. Hopefully I get a fish soon. There we go, fish on. There we go, large G, first fish, guys. I'm gonna burn him in, I don't wanna risk losing him. Crushed right away. All right. Sweet chatterbait strikes. Let's see what he weighs. Let's just call it 13 ounces. So officially, first fish guys, 13 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and get it back. Beautiful first fish. Oh, he splashed me. All right, great. Let's get another one right away. I didn't cast far enough. There we go. I hooked him. Gotta bring him in. Oh no, it's a pike. I thought this was a bass. Beautiful pike guys, look at that. Not even gonna take out the camera, gonna get him back. Like I said, this fish doesn't count. I'm gonna get him back right here. He's gonna splash off right away. Yeah, no wonder he hit so hard. Oh, there's a bed. Oh, there's a bed. I can see the fish, I think. Yeah, oh. Is that a largey? Another smallie, big smallie. There we go. So with this kayak, I'm able to get in really shallow water. I'm just looking for the bedding fish weighing in at 2.49 pounds. It's bigger than I thought. Just a beautiful smallmouth bass on a hair jig. Very similar to last video. So up here, if you guys can see that okay. So see how there's rock? See there's rock up against the weed here? That's kind of what I'm looking for. Where it, I don't like straight swamp in the springtime. I want that rock where the rock meets the weed. That's where the beds like to be, a little bit of gravel. It's not as much as I wanted. So I'm gonna cruise up here a little mile more and I think we're gonna get into some better looking stuff. There we go, he ate it, he ate it. There we go, good largey. Gotta bring him in, loose drag, gotta flip him. There we go guys. I think we might be putting Jay in his place here. Oh. Nice largey, probably another pound added. Pound two ounces, 
and five eighths. Beautiful fish, by the way, guys. There we go. All right, that log's gonna have a fish. Don't know what it's gonna be, but... Oh, geez. Largy. So, in the springtime, wood is an attractor of fish, attracts crappies, largies, smallies, and now we have a very small largy. There you go. That's, uh, we're not even gonna weigh that one. If I don't catch five, Zach deserves the win. Let's see how Zach's doing. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's digging, he's digging, he's digging. He's pulling, he's pulling. Lots of fight in this guy. Gotta bring him up. Beautiful. That's gonna help. A pound, two ounce, three eight. Oh, there's a big one in front of me. He's swimming off. Okay, big, big one in front of me. I gotta catch him. Oh, there we go. That's a better fish. Oh no, he's small again. Wow, what am I at now? I haven't even been keeping track. Okay, I gotta weigh him just because it's a competition, but I might start calling fish. 12 ounces exactly. 12 ounces exactly, not even a pound, but whatever, he'll keep. Go back. Oh, that's a fish. Ooh, ooh, I think this is a big, oh! Oh, I wish I had a net. Oh, this is a big bass, this is a big bass. Jeez. Man, we are off to a good start. Oh, that jig's moving in his mouth. Oh, that is a long, long smallmouth bass. 2.71, another one for the box or whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, if you've been following my videos, you've seen me probably using this rod a lot, probably using this bait a lot. This is a seven and a half foot conquest. I think this rod retails for $900. I did not pay $900 for it. I got it as a warranty for an NRX that I broke still. I do like the NRX is better. Someone just asked me about it. NRXs are amazing. They're still a pricey rod, but they are top of the line, amazing warranty. Anyways, this is seven and a half foot, medium, just an amazing all around rod. If you want one all around smallmouth walleye rod, can't go wrong with this. I have eight pound braid on here. Right now I'm using an eight pound monofilament leader. You can use an eight pound floral leader. And I'm using a hand tied homemade hair jig black marabou. You can buy them in stores. You can make them yourselves. A bunch of companies make them, but that's what we're doing. So right now water temps are mid 60s. So fish are on beds. Some of them are done spawning. Spawn doesn't happen all at once. It does get spread out a bit. I'm just cruising shoreline. I didn't even put my sonar on today because I'm just banging shoreline looking for the mix of rock and weed and finding those fish that are still on beds. That's pretty much it. Just a slow retrieve, trying to keep the bait off the bottom, giving that fish a chance to eat. If, if I do see a fish on a bed that doesn't want to swim aggressively and eat it, I'll maybe throw out a, a Ned rig, like a jig on the bottom to drag along the bottom or a little tube. Um, but they seem to be chasing the hare, the marabou, and we're gonna keep covering shoreline. Zach is a little more limited with his water. He's got some of the better largemouth water, I think, in the area he is, so I kind of left that for him. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. I guess I'll take another, oh, there might be a bed in there. I think I can see the fish. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Another non-weigher. Right here. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. I gotta count. I gotta go like a beginner. Count down. Ooh, Smalley. Get up in here. There we go. One pound, two ounces, and three eighths. I think I saw some largies before. Welcome back to the yak, to the kayak. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Once again, it's not as tippy as I expected. Uh, I can make good time with this. It's, it's nice to put me on lakes that I've never had a big boat on before. Um, once again, we got 55 pound Minn Kota on the front making it possible with that pro nav. Got one GoPro on the front there, and I'm wearing the chesty as well. But if you guys have some filming advice as far as like mounts for camera mounts on, on kayaks, I'd be very open to it. I'm, I'm kind of like trying to dial in what's gonna be the perfect setup. I'm probably gonna put some sort of pole in the back to give like a full bird's eye view of what's going on. But uh, yeah, any of those little rigging things. Kayak guys are pretty crafty and I've seen some pretty decked out kayaks. So um, for now, back to Zach. Hopefully he's doing okay. Look at this lake. Doesn't this lake scream smallies to you? What am I doing over here fishing largies? Like I think I'm gonna win with largies. I'm positive that there's gonna be smallies here. So I'm quickly, quickly, quickly gonna switch up to a Ned rig. Probably gonna get cut off by a pike swimming it in. Bass, bass, bass. I was swimming it in. Ah, oh, hopefully I can call it. Hopefully he's bigger than the other ones. That was crazy. That was insanity. 
Um, I don't, yeah, he's definitely gonna call one fish. Definitely, look at that. That's sweet. All right. Get him back, beautiful. Maybe I can pick up a fish with the jig. Hold out my rod in front of me. Finger on the line. Extra sensitivity. There we go. Nice fish. There we go. This fish is not getting off. Woohoo! Who are you, mister? Where did you come from? That's what I needed all day. Smalley on the flipping jig and I cranked him. He's kind of deformed, isn't he? He's just shy of two pounds. One pound, 11 ounces, and one eighth. I'm gonna get this nice largey back. I mean, smally. This is a smally. I don't know why I called it a largey. It swims off just like that. So, lesson of the day, you guys can catch smallies on a flipping jig. It'd be cool if I could see the fish eat it. So I'm gonna cast past the bed. Now inch it onto the bed. Oh, he sees it. He doesn't like it. Yeah, got him. Oh! All right, so the thing about betting fish is sometimes you get a second chance because they're locked on. He's a nose down on it already. Got him. That was sweet, this is a big fish. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, oh, oh. oh Zach, I'm sorry. This is like an unfair advantage. Yeah, <laughs> that is big. Guys, that is my biggest smallie of the spring. Look at that, amazing. All right, this one's going on the scale. This is my fifth that I've weighed now. 3.68 means I got a 15 pound bag of smallies right now. Zach, I hope you're beating me, but I also hope you aren't. That is a 3.6, 3.7 pound Northwest Ontario beast. Amazing. So that fish gave me uh, just over 15 pounds, which is a good bag of smallies. I wasn't really thinking, I gave Zach a five pound lead. That means he needs 10 pounds to beat me. It's very doable. If he's catching fish, 10 pounds is doable. He's very, very limited on water. I haven't gone over the same water twice yet. I've just been burning shoreline. I, I think it might be close. I mean, a couple big largies and he's right up there. Um, but we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, cruising shoreline, looking for those beds and then slowing down and catching those fish. But if I'm not seeing the beds, I'm zooming. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is another big one. This might be bigger. They keep getting bigger. Oh, come at me, Zach! We're gonna get this one back real quick. 3.52, lock it. There are so many small lakes around Kenora that have big bass. There's, there's, it's not like there's one or two. There is dozens of lakes with bass like that. And if you have a small craft, you can get into them. Oh, got one. There we go, please be nice. Decent, decent. It's not huge. I don't know if he'll weigh, but finally got one. It's been a while. Oh no. Well, I messed that up. I'm gonna cast past the bed. I'm gonna let it sink. I can see the fish swimming towards it already. I'm gonna drop it right in the middle and I'm just gonna pop it on the spot. There we go, nice fish. Boom! Quick wait, that's going back. There we go. 304 is now the fish to beat. That one was on once again, the Ned rig. There we go, there we go. Can't get him right back. Whoo! Another one, another one. Yep. Oh, not gonna be an upgrade. Yeah. This is insane, guys, insane. It actually goes, wow, that tree looks absolutely incredible. Oh, I just saw that fish chase out. Wow, well, that's what we were hoping for. Large mouth number two. 
fish on. Rock bass, okay. We've located the rock bass. Don't think we're gonna weigh that one. That looks very fishy down there. I'm gonna drop that Ned rig right in the middle of the bed. I don't see the fish, but I'm just assuming it's eating it. Another close to three pounder probably. I'm not gonna weigh this one. I think he pooped all over me. Ooh. Oh man, this is why I love springtime. Everything's shallow, easy. Don't even need a graph on the front. You can just guess where the warm water is. We'll weigh that one, what the heck. It is a slight upgrade. This one was 306. 1684 is our total now for a five biggest smallmouth. Love it. Guys, we have about 20 minutes of fishing left. We're gonna go check on Zach. All I heard from him was that he caught lots. I have no idea on size. I'm guessing he caught more largies, but this has been such a good evening. I, I hope Zach had a good time. I hope I beat him. Uh, we got a little bit of shoreline left and I think this might be the best shoreline yet. So I decided I'm gonna put the big camera out on the nose. If it tips, it's gonna be a very sad end to the video, but you can only do chesty GoPro so much. So until I figure out a new rigging situation, this camera on the Gorilla Pod is gonna be set in the nose of the boat and I hope it's okay. There we go. Couple bass before we call it a day. This has been an incredible evening fishing against Zach. Haven't really heard any updates from him other than he caught lots of fish and we'll go check on him. We didn't really place any sort of bet, so I mean, I was gonna say loser has to edit, but I'd make him edit it anyway, so. We are back at the truck with Zachary, the intern. Tell me. Tough day. You gonna show me the scale or do we have to review the footage? Uh, we're probably gonna have to review the footage, honestly. I didn't catch anything over two pounds, but I got probably five or six fish. Did you weigh up. them? Yeah, I weighed them. Okay. I, I lost the one that I didn't get to weigh, but he was small anyway. So I gave Zach a five pound lead. So, well, we'll see what I weighed. I'll show you guys the scale. My five biggest, my smallest was 3.06. My biggest was 3.76. Oh God. 16.84. Yeah, no, you, <laughs> you, you beat me. You needed 11.84. Yeah, you, even even with that, probably you beat me because I didn't get one fish over two pounds, and it's a five fish limit. So, good well, job, Jay. I'll, I'll take you. I'll take yeah. you out for a drink. Killed me. I had the gigantic advantage of the kayak. I'll give Zach the kayak next time. Next time, of course. Um, it is bedding season for these fish. I caught all of my biggest mollies off of beds and uh, polarized shades, looking for those basketball sized shiny spots, those white spots, and you'll find yourself some fish locked on the beds. Make sure to release those fish. You should be releasing bass anyways. But thank you guys for watching. Zach's gonna be with us all summer. He's got a YouTube channel. I will link it below. He's gonna be doing videos. He fishes every evening, every weekend. Whenever I don't have him working, he's fishing. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.